Welcome to another guide to, with me, Mr. Sealy P. The fifth wheel hitch BW pack. This is a new mod out by Black Sheep Modding. Um, this is an interesting one in that this was up on the mods in testing for quite some time, and there was lots of speculation about what it was um, on the on the forums. I know people were asking. Some people had ideas, some people weren't sure. Um, there was something to do with the fifth wheel, but nobody really knew. Um, bottom line of it is, it's a gooseneck. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk. Uh, I think on PC there are gooseneck options for pickups and stuff available. And a few people on console saying, why haven't we got a gooseneck pickup? Well, what Black Sheep Modding have done very cleverly, they've taken your normal pickup and you can convert it into a gooseneck. What they've also done is supplied you in the pack with a couple of gooseneck trailers, which does leave it kind of open for modders now to think, well, okay, we can we can do this because if you've got the mod that already gives you the gooseneck attachment, um, we can get some more gooseneck stuff. So, here's what you get in the pack. You get the um, gooseneck kind of platform. This is the, le the lizard fifth wheel hitch, um, and it comes on this nice looking um, engine hoist. I think it's probably what it's called, isn't it? Yes, it's an engine hoist. Um, so that you get. We'll have a look in store at them. Um, and then you get a couple of trailers too. So we'll have a look at those two. And we'll have a look at the impact they have on the vehicles. So, into the store. And this is where I had a bit of an issue. And I wasn't too sure, but it's probably just me. Um, this might be on there. That's why it was on low loaders. Um, if I go to miscellaneous and scroll along in miscellaneous, you get to the Lizard Fifth Wheel Hitch BW. It's only one thousand pounds, euros, or dollars to get the fifth wheel hitch itself, which isn't too bad. Obviously, you need a pickup in the first place. Um, there's not a goose neck pickup. It just goes with the standard Lizard pickup. Um, so you get one of those, and it comes on the engine hoist as you've already seen it. Um, if I then go down to low loaders in the pack, you also get the Lizard um, T450 um, fifth wheel hitch trailer, and there. But the weird thing is, there are two of these. There's only oh, I know where the other one is. This one is for transporting vehicles. And that's why it's in the low loader section. I've just realised where the other one is. And if I go to bailing technology, which was there. The other one will be all the way along here somewhere, hopefully. There we go, the Lizard 5th B450. And this one is a bale trailer used for transporting bales. Now, obviously, the easier way of finding them is if I just go R1, go along to Lizard, click on that, and then they're all in one place. You can just find them straight away there under manufacturer rather than searching around the different sections. So the 5th T450 and the 5th B450 bales and transport. Um, and then the hitch itself. So that's what the hitch looks like on the axle stand. The axle stand. <sighs> the engine hoist. Moment blank in. This is the bale trailer, and as you can see, there's plenty of straps on it, which is really nice. Now you can have both of these. If we look at the other one in a minute, it's got protection walls. You can have them with or without protection walls with both the bale trailer or the transport one. It doesn't matter which you choose and the ramps come down, we'll have a look at that in a second as well. So these two trailers come in the pack, pack tri-axle, very, very nice indeed. But the thing everyone's interested in is the fifth wheel hitch. And when it's on, it sits in the back of the trailer bed, the truck bed, like so, just there. Kind of bolted in, that's the one with protect protection walls. And that's what it looks like in the pickup rodeo. Obviously, the pickup rodeo is lower down, so what they've done is they've added these extension bits in, um, these bars here, to raise it up so the gooseneck will still fit, so the gooseneck won't be tipped down in the wrong place. So, let's have a look. I've got a pickup lined up, ready to go. Now, I'm going to do it on the rodeo. I don't know why, I just got the rodeo. Uh, start the engine. And if we raise or lower the tailgate, now, if you leave the tailgate up, when you back up to the engine hoist, it won't work because it hits on the engine hoist. It might not on the Rojo, but it definitely did on the TT. So we just drop the back down, like so. And then what you do is you back up. Now I don't think you can drive the engine hoist. Actually, I haven't tried that. Uh, can you enter the engine hoist? Oh, that's still a pickup. 
I don't think you can. I think you just back up to the engine hoist. Anyway, so we'll back up to the engine hoist. Now, I should have really come a little bit straighter on that, but it doesn't matter. And you'll get the hookup symbol come up in a second, like so. Press X on the PlayStation, and there you go. It mounts it, and the engine hoist vanishes. If I want to get rid of it, press X again. It goes back onto the engine hoist, and you can drive away. So that's how you attach it, like so. Fairly straightforward. So here's one on the TT. I think it looks really, really nice. I like that. Now, obviously, we're in that strange dilemma situation now with, with FS19 rapidly approaching, and I would imagine there are a lot of modders now that are looking towards 19 and converting mods and making mods for 19. How many more mods realistically are we going to get? Now, bear in mind we're still in August. We've still got September, October, right the way through to the 20th of November. Um, but I don't know really how many more we're going to get. Hopefully a few more. Um, but like I say, this is the transport one with protection walls. Um, let's start her up. And trailer. Oh, wrong one. Raise and lower the, uh, the ramps. Lights, indicators. If I detach it, as you just saw, it's got your legs that come out the bottom to support it. Now, one thing I did notice with this, and what I think I might need to do actually, is come back out. I'm just going to grab a skid steer. Doesn't matter which one. Might as well just be a bobcat, whatever. Uh, let's lease another bobcat. I say lease another one because I just did my my guide to on the bobcat update. Now, here's the thing. With most trailers. I found stuff goes all over the place and it's horrendous and you know awful etc. Now these are quite steep ramps on this, especially when it's attached to the TT. Um, it's quite a steep back to this, so getting things on and off it might be a little bit tricky, but I do go on. Try and get that in the middle if I can. Like so. Put that down. And then jump out. Now the protection walls are just there to stop stuff falling off the side, I guess. And um, there's nothing to stop it coming off the back because once these roll up, they or fold up, they fold up here, kind of flat. So let's hook the trailer up, close that up. Now what I did notice, I don't know if they've put something on here to stop things moving, but when you drive this, it does push quite, does push down the back axle, but it will drive and it will pull. If I get a bit of speed up and then stop suddenly. That bobcat did not move on that trailer. So whether it's a, like a locking script on there, I don't know, because it's for transporting vehicles. That bobcat has not moved at all. Now, if it is a locking script, I like that a lot. That's really cool. Now, that's with the TT. Very nice indeed, and obviously the bobcat on the back. This one is the bale trailer, and I've done this in the rodeo, and this is my only minor complaint, gripe, I don't know what you want to call it. I think it's probably designed more for the TT, but it, but the fact that I've got this, it does work on the rodeo, and here's my issue. I'll start up the rodeo. When you try and pull away, you get this um, weight down on the back axle, which lifts the front off the ground. You get this bit of wheel spin. Now, obviously, if you take your time and accelerate with a more gradual sensible acceleration we can get away a little bit easier which is fine um, but I've found that turning and reversing it gets a little bit it doesn't really like it now this is with the standard rodeo when I first tried this out I got the 200 horsepower one and every time you tried to pull away the front went right up in the air I mean seriously up in the air it does work but it you got to be a bit more um, sensitive on the controls I think a bit more finesse is needed um, now you can do the straps on the back for your bales um, individually as you normally can or you can do them all from in cab fasten unfasten etc um, now if you wanted to transport something on the back of this again hmm I don't know because I tried this I'm going to show you again if I get into the vehicle would be a great idea Let's put the ramps down. This was this is what makes me think there's a locking script on the um, 
from the transport version. I'll just show you very, very quickly. But I do like this pack. It's really, really cool. I like the gooseneck option. And um, they're not expensive either. Um, I think it was 12,000, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was 12,000. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, 12,000 for the trailer. I mean, to be fair, the American Bandit is only 4,500. Um, but it's a, it's a nice option. It's good to have options. I keep saying that, and it, it really is. Something a bit different. That is incredibly steep. Um, yeah, tractors and stuff shouldn't be too much of a problem. So what I'll do is put this one on, and I'll show you what I mean. The difference between the transport and the bale trailer. Just plant that right in the back. Like so. Now, it doesn't matter if you put straps on or not, the belts on, because the belts won't go over this vehicle. They won't hold it in place. They just go across the bottom like that. So what I'll show you, if we drive forward, I'm sure this is going to really raise up now. There you go, that's what I mean. Now, obviously, this is designed for bells, but as soon as I stopped, that skid steer slid forward. And if I pull away... Oh, blimey. I'm just... Yeah, I'm assuming there's a script... A locking script that's awful now the um, the bobcat isn't I mean I say it's not hugely heavy I mean of course it's heavy um, but what I'm assuming is if you loaded this up with bales the weight would be just the same I don't think it would be spread more evenly if you filled it up with bales right the way across to the back of course but I don't know I just found the rodeo as that kind of bonnet raising thing so I would imagine if you're going to use it, I would go with the TT. It works a little bit better. It looks a little bit better. I don't know. It's like that. It's really, really cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm waffling on. I'm kind of just trying to make sure I show you what, I've, what I found while I was just having a fiddle around with it. But I like this pack. The fifth wheel hitch BW pack. Very nice indeed. I like the fact you do get a couple of trailers. The fact you do get the bale trailer and the transport trailer. I like the way it attaches into the back. It's really cool. It's a nice mod. Like I say, something different, something nice to have. Um, very, very nice indeed. I hope you found this useful and informative, as always, in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.